Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In a previous video of mine, I've shown you how to sort data automatically in Excel without using macros. The link of that is shown in the right hand corner. In that video, I show you how to sort data based on one column of information. Let's say you wanted to make the decision based on multiple columns. For example, in this information of sales data of some reps, you wanted to sort the data based on the sales and if it's a tie then based on the average. Here you see that the top salesperson is Olivia followed by William and so on and so forth. Let's say that now I change Ava's sales information to match that of William. So, so let me change this to 24368. Note the table here now. I press enter. Though Ava and William have the same sales number, Ava has a higher average and hence sits at a higher rank. How can we do it? Let me show you. Here is the raw data of sales numbers of various reps. So in column C, you get the sales information and in column D shows the number of customers each rep has and hence the column E which is average is calculated by sales divided by the number of customers. Now to get a sorted data based on two different columns we need to do some calculations. So in our data we want to first rank based on the sales and if the sales are okay then we want to rank based on the higher average. So initially we need to first find the sales rank that can be done using the rank formula so is equal to rank of the number which in this case is C6 and the reference which is the cell from C6 to C11. I'm going to freeze the reference from C6 to C11. And press enter and then just copy this formula over. So here we get the rank based on the sales. In our calculations we made the sales as our top priority. Our second parameter for ranking is average. Now let's rank the average because that's our second ranking criteria. So is equal to rank of the number which is the cell E6 followed by the reference from E6 to E11 and then let's freeze the reference. And I'm going to just copy the formula over. So you see that now the average rank is also present. So Eva who has an average of 2215 is the highest rank for average and Emma who has 1287 as average is the lowest rank. Now for our calculations we've decided the sales column to be the top priority and if the sales numbers are equal then the average will decide who gets a higher rank. We have now calculated the rank of the sales numbers and the rank of the averages individually. We now need to create a formula where we can incorporate both these numbers to create the actual rank. For that we need to first calculate an intermediate rank where we give the first priority to the sales number and then the average. As our first ranking parameter is the sales number we need to give it more weightage followed by the average. To calculate the intermediate rank we are going to give a weight of 1 to the sales rank. So which is 1 which is equal to 1 multiply the sales rank plus now since our average number is the second priority we are going to give a weight of 0.1 to the average rank so that is going to be plus 0.1 multiplied by the average rank so i get an intermediate rank of 4.2 let me just copy this formula all the way down. Now we have a series of six numbers which are incorporating both 
the sales rank and the average rank hence noha whose intermediate rank is 6.5 is basically rank 6 in sales and 0.5 the 5 represents the average rank if you look at the sales ranks right now you see there are two people with rank 2 that's eva and william who both have the same sales number however the average of eva is higher than that of william hence out here we don't have six unique values of the sales rank because of the different average rank values we get six different intermediate ranks so if i am going to rank the intermediate ranks now so is equal to rank of the number which is cell h6 reference as h6 to h11 and let me freeze the reference h6 to h11 now if i copy it over down the rank function by default does descending so you need to change the formula and in the end add the order as one and copy that formula over and now you see that you get unique rank one to six which is based on first the sales rank and if there's a tiebreaker then goes to the average rank there is a caveat in this formula uh, let's say that both the sales rank and average ranks are the same so in this case Ava and William have same sales number but different average numbers so let me change that for Ava to have the same average number as that of William and now you see that we don't have rank number three as both the sales number and the average number are same for two different reps. To overcome this, we need to add a counter formula where we check if that same rank is appearing in that list up till that point. So to do that, we start with the cell H6 where the front part of the reference or the range is going to be frozen and the criteria is again going to be same as this and then i'm just going to copy the formula over so what does the count if section of this formula do it checks if the cell value in this case the intermediate rank is appearing in the range above it including that cell so if you go down uh, in case of cell h7 you see that the count if is looking for the range h6 to h7 including the cell h7 hence you don't see a rank 1 because it's counting itself to change it we need to again go to our top formula and subtract 1 from all the numbers so i'm just going to copy the formula down and now you see a clear rank 2 and rank 3 though the sales number and the average numbers are same you will still get unique ranks from 1 to 6 once you've calculated the ranks, it's relatively simple to get the sorted data. So in the sorted data tab, I have mentioned the rank from 1 to 6. And now to get the rep, all I need to do is do the index function. So it's equal to index of the array. Array I'm going to take from cell B5 to I11. The row number. The row number is what I'm going to do by matching the rank. So match of the lookup value is cell k6 which is the rank in the sorted data the lookup array is the rank in the raw data and the match type is exact and i need to get the column number which is the rep rep is the first column in our raw data so i'm just going to put one here let me freeze the arrays and the reference. So there you get Olivia as the top rep. You can just copy the formula over to sales where everything remains the same except the sales 
is the second column. So instead of 1, you need to put 2 in the final column number. Similarly, the number of customers is the third column and the average is the fourth column. You can just copy all these formulas over. That will get the sorted data. So if you change the data right now from 13 customers to let's say 11 customers, which was the original data, check the sorted data tab, I press enter here, and AVA then comes to rank 2 because though the sales number are same for both of them, the average value for AVA is higher than that of William. The same method can be used to sort data based on three or more columns too. All you need to do is first calculate the ranks for all the individual criteria and then in the intermediate rank, give them the weight accordingly. So if sales, let's say is your top priority, that gets a weight of 1. The second column, let's say in this case was average, gets a weight of 0.1. The third column would have a weight of 0 0.01 and the fourth column 0 0.001 and so on and so forth. Sorting data automatically by this technique can be really helpful when you need to do the same process multiple times on the same table of data. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.